faith. Speak your faith and not unbelief. It's something that we can learn from the woman in Mark chapter 5. I'll read for us a couple of verses. In Mark chapter 5 verses 25 to 34, uh, we read, Now a certain woman had a flow of blood for 12 years and had suffered many things from many physicians. She had spent all that she had and was no better, but rather grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came behind him in the crowd and touched his garment. For she said, If only I may touch his clothes, I shall be made well. Immediately, the flow of blood dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of the affliction. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that power had gone out of him, turned around in the crowd and said, Who touched my clothes? But his disciples said to him, You see the multitude thronging you, and you say, Who touched me? And he looked around to see her who had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. Now here's a woman who, who suffered for many years, but her confession uh, was her faith. She believed in her heart that if she could only touch the hem of Jesus' garments, that she would be made well. And in verse 28, we see her speaking her faith. She believed it and she spoke it. She said it to herself, if only I may touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. And immediately the flow of blood stopped. We find Jesus acknowledging her faith and commending her for her faith. What do we do in our circumstances? What do we do uh, in our tough situations and our difficulties? We do believe that God is our healer, that God is our provider, that God is the one who will uh, lead us ahead. God is the one who will help us fulfill our destiny. But there are times in our lives where we must speak that faith. It's not enough to believe in our hearts, but we must confess it with our mouths. Today, can we make this our confession? that if only we can get into His presence, that we would be made whole. If only we could believe Him, if only we could allow Him to work in our lives, that we can experience His victory. Can we speak that to ourselves? Can we make that the confession of our mouths? Speak faith and not unbelief. Let's pray together. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for who you are. We thank you that God with you, we are overcomers, that Lord, your grace is sufficient for us and that God, in our circumstances, Lord, when we meet with you, when we, uh, Lord, receive your word, when we receive your working in our lives, that God, you will do exceedingly abundantly more than we can ask, think or imagine. Father, we thank you for all the miracles that have been released to us this day. We thank you for the victory, Lord. We thank you for the overcoming that we have received through you. We bless you and honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.